Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. And me. Who had me to life right originally? Uh, Cuffy. Cuffy. Okay. He had now. it for two years. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, the word that come to him about a move that need to be made. The word go through Tammy from me, Tammy, to him. He make the move. He get wrapped up on it. He really don't know what's going on until the paperwork hit and they can stand. Now, you can say what you want to say, right? But if yeah. you who've been a part of this thing come to me to make a move, and then it turns out to be a federal thing, right? And now all of a sudden, the life rights, you did transfer to scene, take the stand. Let me slow down. Yeah, Big slow Meech. down for just a Big, second. Slow down for just Big a second. So, Big Meach, the leader of BMF, transfers his life rights to Tabby after his mans get lined up by Tabby and he sees and knows she's a federal confidential informant. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, man, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Um, I'm still looking at some things here, man. I just... Like I said, it's tripping me out how Big Meech, uh, you hear that he's he's been labeled as a snitch uh, and just the breakdown of it all, man. Wag 100 is really turned into it um, with, you know, all the different innuendos. There's a lot of people coming out saying that Meek, snitch, but I got my boy OG Pyru who been researching it. I don't know it like he, he okay, OG, you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here right now. Up and up and at him too early. Uh, hey, man. I'm trying to understand, man. Like, and I've seen this. Like, I've been seeing it over and over again. It's it's surfacing everywhere. Uh, Big Meech, Cuffy, Tammy. What is this talk all about? Let, 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 let me let me put a clarity because see one thing about Boss Talk, we research. And we get shit, whatever y'all say, we gonna tell the facts. Maybe not the truth, but we gonna have it so right that you can't fight it in court. These dudes, academics, and putting all Yosemite Sam on this, on, on their program. Yeah, yeah, he had whack on there the other night, and we talked about it. Um, yes. But I'm hearing, like, it keeps surfacing that, that, that and, and, and whack. he have a crew of people that they rock with what he's saying, and they saying Man. that they, the feds only let informants like he said he had he sent the paperwork to DJ Academics. Yes. Let me read you the paperwork. Actually, the actual paperwork. Okay. St. Louis, Missouri, U.S. District Court, Rodney W. Spittle, sentenced Dion Lamont Gavin, aka Cuffy, 53, to late St. Charles. Missouri to 27 years in prison for drug trafficking charges and the use of a firearm in furtherance of, of drug trafficking resulting in death. According to the documents, Gatlin was the leader of an organization, the, the Gatlin Drug Trafficking Organization. The organization brought heroin, methamphetamine, and so forth. As the leader and organizer, Gatlin ordered the murders of Thaddeus Howard and Terrence Morgan, two individuals Gatlin suspected as cooperating with law enforcement. Specifically, Gatlin organized the murder of Howard in 2010 and ordered it in retaliation for Howard providing information to law enforcement regarding Gatlin's brothers drug trafficking activities. That's what happened in 2012. That's what got him on the radar. Similarly, Gatlin directed Andre Rush, another conspirator, to kill Morgan in 2013 order, in order to prevent Morgan from cooperating with the federal law enforcement investigating Gatlin's drug trafficking. This happened in 2010. What did this have to do with Big Meech? This has nothing to do with Meech at all. And he took 27 years because he had a contract murder. He was getting a life sentence. And the person that told on him, name was Andre Rush. 
one of his crime partners. So is this something that, it, well, what is, how is Tammy and Cuffy and this big niche thing, how does this tie in? Uh, allegedly, uh, Meech called him, told him about the BMF movie, <coughs> and he allegedly put up $250,000. Who put up $250,000? Uh, this is what Cuffy says he did. I wasn't there. Okay. Allegedly. allegedly, okay. He allegedly said he put up a quarter of a million dollars for the movie and he had the rights to the movie, right? Well, that's the same thing that, uh, what's his name, said about Death Row Records, you know, Harry O. So, allegedly put up $250,000 for Death Row Records. Now, uh, 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 this boy Cuffy claims that he put up $250,000 and Meech told him to go through Tammy. Now, he get his raggedy ass on the phone being nosy, trying to get something, and calls uh, David. He says, allegedly, that Tammy was talking about, talking to the federal agents about another individual. And he gets caught up, and they turn it in on him. But he says, even when you got to watch to these dudes when they be lying. He didn't even lie to his daughter, got his daughter all on the wow. media talking about how so, uh, you looked at me like an uncle and he told on my father. He got on the phone and the feds picked up on him. It had nothing to do with Tammy because he says himself that Tammy had sex with one of the federal agents and knocked the case off. So Meeks didn't get no time cut. So it hadn't. You got busted in 2013. Wow. So this man on the air line and got all these people beneath oh Meech he's a third party and he he didn't Meech didn't have a dog in that fight. Well why is I, I, but when you hear whack and you hear the Tammy stuff and you hear the Cuffy conversation, it seems as if uh Meech is pretty much in cahoots with the whole thing like a dynamic of working with somebody. So but you totally you totally disagree with that. He says that Meech called him about the BMF movie. That's what he said Meech called him about, the BMF movie. So you're about saying these are two separate charges, two separate incidents two, totally. Two se he's, he's, he's convicted for something that had nothing to do with, dude, uh, this uh, Yosemite Sam, I don't even like to call this this little uh, midget's name, but he he asked him to make a move. He, it, wasn't, it wasn't no don't move, wasn't nothing that had nothing to do with drugs. He asked him, did he want to do this? They, he was thinking about doing a BMF movie. And allegedly, dude said he put up 200, and they crossed me out of the movie because we was getting ready to get $60 million. We was get, these Negroes come up with all these astronomical prices that they would do. Well, why do you stay in the movie business? Wow. Be lying. Wow. Man, um, thank you, OG. I, I, actually, I'm just trying to understand it, man. You, I, I mean, you always come with facts. You always come with uh, drop dead uh, uh, information that you you know you 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 will always go get the paperwork no matter who it can be Charles White or anybody so I've seen you do it over and over again but I will say man like I said um, these things keep happening but your boy Meech he came out today and I see him and he don't look bothered let me let me let me show you this hold on hold on one sec watch, watch this here he is right here. Look like he's getting his nails done. Yeah, he's getting his nails done. He got him a new diamond BMF chain. This stuff is going crazy on the internet. He's steadily... Man, I, I, you know, it's, it's a difference. I met your family, right? Correct. And I, I met that guy's mother and his son. Yes. And they don't come from that cloth like, you know, no rat bastards. You ain't going to meet nobody in Yosemite Sam's family. Wow. <laughs> He's an orphan. Nobody want to deal with. You know, he comes up with some so many concocted stories. He has, like he said, somebody touched me on the show with all these cameras they got. Don't you think somebody would have recorded me running? Wow. We went. We would have built viral on that. That's <laughs> a <habitual> liar. <laughs> hey man, make sure you got like subscribe to the channel, man. Get in. Get in the comments, man. Uh, do you agree with OG Piru? OG Ayatollah Lamar? Do you agree that? Meech had nothing to do with Cuffy's situation. Um, 
he and he totally debunks what Wack is saying. This Tammy and this this informant situation is. Guys, get in the comments. Who do you agree with? What do you think? Let us know. Make sure you guys tap in. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.